Hi, I am Ayush Tiwari and I will talk about our paper on rigging style can for 3D control over portrait images. We can control the head pose, facial expressions, and scene illumination in any style can generated portrait image. Generative adversarial networks such as StyleGAN allow for very high quality and high resolution synthesis of portrait images. However, these models do not allow for 3D semantic control over the output. 3D morphable models, or 3D MMs on the other hand, model faces as meshes in 3D. This allows for explicit control over the head pose, scene illumination, and facial expressions. However, 3D morphable models only model the face region and not the full portrait image. In addition, they are not photorealistic and lack details. In this paper, our goal is to build a generative model of portrait images where we preserve the synthesis quality of StyleGAN but allow for 3D controllability using a 3D morphable model. We do this by learning a mapping between the parametric spaces of these two models. Both models are pre-trained and fixed, so our method does not require expensive retraining. We do not require any additional training data, relying only on random samples from StyleGAN for our training. Most existing approaches for controllable image synthesis train a separate conditional generative model for the given task. However, training such networks for synthesis at high resolutions is very expensive. In contrast, we add controllability to a pre-trained generative model. Concurrent to us, other approaches also explore adding different kinds of control to StyleGAN as well as other generative models. However, they do not use a 3D model of the scene for control. Let's take a look at our method. We take as input a StyleGAN code vector, which is the input to StyleGAN. In addition, the target control parameters are also provided as input. Our RigNet network computes a new code vector corresponding to the target parameter input. We train separate networks for pose, expressions, and illumination. Here, I will explain the training strategy taking pose as an example. We aim to enforce two properties in the output of the network. First, the face in the output should be in the target pose. Additionally, other properties such as facial identity, expressions, and illumination should be the same as in the source input. We use a differentiable face reconstruction network to estimate these properties from a StyleGAN embedding. We can then enforce an editing loss which minimizes the difference between the target and the predicted pose parameters. For all other parameters, the consistency loss minimizes the difference between the source and the output. Directly computing losses in parameter space requires careful weighting of the different dimensions. Instead, we design these loss functions in the image space using a differentiable renderer to automatically weigh the different dimensions. Finally, we also add a reconstruction loss which ensures that the output does not change when the target parameters are the same as in the source input. Let's look at the results. Here, you will see the output on the right and visualization of the 3D parameter input on the left. We can synthesize out-of-plane pose editing results based on the pose input. We can also change the facial expressions in the image. All images are synthesized per frame without enforcing any explicit temporal coherence. And finally, we can also change the scene illumination. Notice that even though the face mesh is incomplete, the illumination is transferred to the full head including hair. We can also interactively edit these results at around 5 frames per second on a consumer grade GPU. Our method also has some limitations. StyleRig is not able to exploit the full expressivity of the parametric 3D face model. We provide an analysis of the biases present in StyleGAN which shows that certain 3D parameters are better represented compared to others. This could be a potential source of these limitations. Please refer to the paper for more details. Thanks to my co-authors and thank you for your attention.